guys welcome back to my channel so today is a completely new but not so new video because i have mama wendy who offered to glue for me to try and make up with us so um stay tuned for you to see the video and i'm so excited you guys see the finished look and then yeah and leave a comment down below let me know what you think or if you liked it yes please like it <laughs> if you liked it and you have any comments or any critique or any advice for me please leave it on the comments down below and then yeah so um, let's get to it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned <laughs> bye the first step is for us to just brush up our, eye our eyebrows and then we took the alec girl uh bro kit cut in shade from dark so we we trying to give mama wendy a natural kind of eyebrows because she's not the kind of girl that trims the eyebrow skinny 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 you know what i mean <laughs> so we're giving we're giving her a natural kind of look that's what she's used to to make her comfortable so we're just um applying that pulling that eyebrows to give it a shape after that we are applying a concealer so we have a, a concealer that's a bit too light for mama wendy but don't worry about it we're gonna blend it in completely well so that it's it's blending in with the skin so it doesn't stand out too much so we put this the uh the concealer right under our eyebrow eyebrows to just um give it a shape and make it pop you know what i mean yeah and then after we took our brush a flat brush so that we can just blend it in as i mentioned earlier on to blend it in nicely so that it can blend in with the skin we do that for both of the eyes so that we are on time afterwards we apply powder face powder on the concealer to just lock in the concealer so that when you apply the eyeshadow it doesn't move too much you know so it gives it then <laughs> so we're using the essence good day sydney palette okay so they have a full range of all this amazing different soft glam and popping glam so we are we chose the good day sydney because this represents mama wendy even more as a soft kind of glam we didn't want to throw off and me just trying on makeup i need a face to be trying every day so i don't want to <laughs> to throw my mom wendy off and then next time she'll be like no i didn't like that makeup it was too tacky <laughs> so we wanted to keep it nice and soft glam so we chose this Good Day Sydney palette. You can get this palette at Essence. I mean, at Clicks Essence brand. Okay. So that's it. And then you really have to just go a couple of few, um, a few rounds to get that get that shade popping. And don't worry about it. Just go a few times. That color will pop. Just remember we need to. Um, we want to keep this shadow light to fit on Mama Wendy, but you can go as dark as you can to pop a little bit more. So now we are applying concealer on the top lid, just a little piece, so that we can apply the shimmer color. A little, a little bit pop. <laughs> yeah. So I put the face powder on top just to lock in that concealer again, and then we are applying the second color so this is a little shimmer it's a little bit of shimmer pink look you do the same for both eyes you go in a little bit so that you can get that color to pop again <laughs> and that's it Long lasting oh, so 
Mama Wendy does not use the black pencil, so her, cho her choice was the brown one. So we use that with Papa eyes. You know, give it that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that a lot, but we gave it a little pop, and then we just took we took the essence long lasting mascara to pop those lashes nice and long because mom really does not apply fake lashes so we want to give her the natural look so we need to use something to make the lashes pop and this essence long lasting is still what <laughs> volume lashes did exactly that and then we use the color pop um foundation and we mix it with the Essence Darkening Makeup Drops to get that perfect shade for Mama Wendy. Afterwards, we just apply concealer on the on the oily spots under our eyes, lighten our noise on top and top of our forehead, under the nose, and under the on the chin to give it that pop. Afterwards, we use our pressed powder just it's on the concealer so that we lock it in. It can stay in place. Okay, so we took the LA Girl Glow Palette to use the dark shade to just contour with that and we bleed it in nicely so that it doesn't separate between the foundation. And the contour. All you have to do is blend it on along the forehead in the corner, and you're done. And then you're applying the. the we, we also use the Allegro Glow Palette to use that nice highlight. As you see, it pop. <laughs> Look at that glow! No one is excited. <laughs> Uh, and then we are applying the, a little bit of blush, a little bit of blush, not so much, and just put a little bit there and blend it in nicely. Remember, we're trying to keep this makeup look natural as possible. And then we top it up with some lipstick, a little bit of glow again on the nose to get it pop and accentuate your nose nicely, and we're done. We finish it off with a little makeup spray to just lock in all that fastiness we got going on. <laughs> this is my new look done by Blondel Colonial.